Hello guys, what is up? It is that man I am. And sorry for the lack of videos, I've been kind of busy lately, but today I'm going to give you a review on the Fujifilm S4400. So what this is, this is a bridge camera, which if you didn't know what that is, it's a... It's in between a small compact camera like most people use today, and then a big DSLR, you know, the cameras that can, you can change the lens, and a lot of manual features, has the name. So, this bridge camera, in particular, is very good at taking photos. It has 26 times op 28, I'm sorry, 28 times optical zoom. It has a pop-up flash, no hot shoe, so, you know. <laughs> um, you also have an electronic viewfinder, which, you know, electronic viewfinders are never great, but this one isn't too bad. And then you have 720p HD video with a mono microphone. Now, the one thing that's good about this, um, there's sometimes, like, cameras where the audio will only play out of one speaker, this will play out of both. I don't know why that happens, or how, but, you know, this one, the audio, the video is, okay. If you guys look at my last video, it is the video test, and there should be something over here, you could go look at that. Uh, what you get in the box a soft you get manuals you get a software disc and then you also have this cable which you plug this part into the if we'll just focus focus okay you plug this part into the camera and then on the other end there are two splitters we have a splitter see one of them has the um left audio and video and then the USB so this is like your main control station. Now before I get into a lot of the camera's features, I just want to say I bought this for $150 off of Amazon. And for that price, I think it's a pretty good deal. So you have plenty of modes. You also have panorama, which the panorama worked very nice. And it's just, it's just great. You have SR Auto. You know what, let me just roll through them real quick. <coughs> I will show you. So, you have program, shutter priority, aperture priority, manual, custom, movie, panorama, and then here you can choose a different scene mode, which is like one scene mode. SR Auto, it recognizes which kind of scene and sets the ISO. This, you, ha you can program in one scene, and then it also selects the ISO, but if you don't want to change it from scene to scene, and you just want one programmed ISO, I'm sorry, one programmed scene to be active, then that's what this mode is for. Let's leave it on SR Auto, that's probably one of the best modes of this camera. So, you also have face detection. Well, you can't, like, program in faces or anything like that, but here's what you can do. Um, if you turn on face detection, it will automatically get the most exposure, and it will have the best looks for the faces if it detects a face and then I think that it works pretty well I mean it detects faces and let me just let's see so you can have face detection on face detection off and then the little icon goes away now on this you actually have a burst mode which no one mentioned this but oh my god it's such a high rate of a burst mode so you have different burst mode modes. Oops, that is not burst mode. So you have off, you have top six, final six, long period, top twenty, and top forty. Top forty is the absolute highest. And it's just immense. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, let's see. It takes forty, that's the maximum. But it's, it's like a mini-movie. It's really fast, I have to say. And, um, oh, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hang on, I'll just bring the camera kind of closer. Let's see. It's hard to demonstrate. Okay. So you can, the maximum resolution, you have to do it on S which I believe is small, which I guess, um, you know, hang on a sec. Once this is done, I want to see what's small. There's S, M, and then L. 
which I guess is small, medium, large. But you like the maximum you can go up to the four by threes. Um, well, with this mode, you only get two megapixels, which I have to say that's kind of disappointing. But it's a very fast burst mode, and you know the the pictures in um, two megapixels don't look half bad. So overall, I really like this camera. I think, you know, you get what you pay for. And that is always true, no matter what you get. I paid $150 for this. The movie mode isn't the greatest, but the pictures are stellar, I have to say. I really like them. Let me just um, bring up the... So the max, this has a wide-angle lens, so you could do 3x2s, 4x3s, or 16x9s. Uh, the maximum resolution for 16x9 is 10 megapixels. And on a 16 gigabyte card, you get about... 3,000, and that's that's more than sufficient for a vacation. And even if you, you don't have enough, you could decrease a bit um, to locate more memory and get some more photos. So you have tons of options here. You also have a, the manual mode, which tons of stuff. You get shutter speed aperture. So let's see if I wanted to mess with the shutter speed slow shutter speed and there's all that light come coming into the lens so you know you could, you definitely have a lot of options with this camera there is no microphone jack um, which I know the HS50 EXR has but the microphone on this isn't the bad part it's the video quality is kind of shaky and I don't know I mean well, not shaky, I mean, this has dual image stabilization, but, um, there's no pun intended. But, the video wasn't exactly the best, but it wasn't the worst by far. And, I will be bringing you guys a video, which is a tip on audio recording, which I think this is really cool, and I think you guys are going to want to see it. So, overall, I give this camera a 9 out of 10. I really like it, it's just the video isn't the greatest, but overall, everything else I love. And if you need this for photos, which is solely what I bought this for, I couldn't give two craps about the video. So the photos, I got what I paid for, and the photos are amazing. The video, um, it's kind of just, it's just kind of sitting in the middle of great and bad. It's just good. I mean, the sharpness, once it gets into focus, it's very good. And, like, the last video, I don't know if that was accurate because it was kind of a glare... It just looked... I don't know. But, um, the video is pretty good. And I think you should get this camera if you're looking to get something for photos. Which I needed something to do my stop motions. And this suffices more than enough in the burst mode. The burst mode is very good. Although, you also have top 20, which is, a uh, 20. Um, and they're a bit better quality. And then when you're playing back your photos, you can see all the, you can see like 16 by 9, you know, different other things. Let's just look here. But I really like this camera. I think you should buy it solely for photos. The specs are very good. And the flashes, if you put it on auto flash, it definitely works well. So, you know, it shows you ISO, the, um, I'm sorry, I lost my wording. You know, the, the size of the photo. And if, you, if you're going to do the burst mode, I would probably recommend 20. Unless, of course, you need to go up to 40. 20 would probably be your best bet because the resolution doesn't really sting. I mean, it's 5 megapixels for 20. And that's still pretty decently fast. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a good day. Well, you know what? I've actually never said that. But have a good day. I always want you guys to have a good day. I don't want you to have a bad day. It'll be bad. You know, bad, bad, bad. And there will be some sample photos at the end of the video, so please stay tuned after I sign out. But, um, thank you guys for watching, and bye.